I thought we'd take a break from watching people kiss. Sends me their souls. Because there are other websites for that. And I'd give the people what they want, which is culinary advice. If you don't know who Kay's cooking is, let's just say she's a wizard with the mince. You get that woman a packet of mince meat, and she'll make you ill. Violently ill. I thought we'd kick the video off strong with um, chicken nugget. <laughs> the video is eight minutes long. Fuck knows what's gonna happen in those eight minutes to end up with one chicken nugget in the pan. Let's find out how to make chicken nugget. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm going to be doing a different version of chicken nuggets. Do you see how angry she looked at the end there? Chicken nuggets. And what do you mean different version of chicken nuggets? What do you mean by that? How can you make a different version of chicken nuggets? As you can see, I've got the flour there. I'm going to put some salt in and some pepper in. Easy on the seasoning, that's going to be spicy. I know you're a woman of milky skin and I'm just trying to look out for you. Um, as I watch the... <laughs> She's making one massive nugget! Yeah, I've got an idea for a video. I'm going to do chicken nuggets but a bit differently because I'm doing one massive nugget. Everyone come around my house for dinner. Let me carve the chicken nugget real quick. I bet my whole YouTube channel she turns that whole thing into a nugget right now. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. The best thing to do is cut it up in strips. Get hold of it, girl, and you might be able to cut it properly. Okay, no disrespect, but I can't differentiate chicken breast with your hand, so... <laughs> uh, your hand looks suspiciously like a chicken breast. So be careful with those scissors, is what I'm trying to say. I'm really looking, because I'm not in the middle of, you know, I'm not preoccupied here. And I almost cut your finger off with those scissors, and I'm not even cutting the, I'm not even cut, cutting the chicken. So that will be one piece, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut. So she might not be making one massive chicken nugget, but that, where I'm from, we call that a goujon. I have got some sharper scissors, but I keep always going back for the ones that don't cut very well. I think it's best you don't touch the sharper scissors. When you're cutting meat that looks very close to your own flesh, the only difference between that chicken breast and your hand is that you've got fingers. I think it's best you stick to the safety scissors for this one. So I'm gonna cut that one into another strip, then I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do after. Chicken had to die for this, by the way. Now I have cut the chicken up and I know the lady, the lady didn't use tongs, she used her hands, but as you know, I don't like to put, well, you know, I, don't, I know you know where it's going to go. It's going, going to go in the egg next, and I know, you know I don't like the, that on my, well, I don't like anything like meat on my hands. What do you mean you don't like meat on your hand? Your hand is a meat. If you want to know what that is. Egg! That is egg. Yes. Or as I call them, heggies. Have I just moved every- Ew! What do you mean, heggies? What the hell is even that? If you call something, if you call something, if you... I'll leave that there. Everything. How bloody have you? And then... The I know that's what it looks like. I know that's normal. We're just dipping meat in egg all the time nowadays. Explain that. You're telling me some guy started with a chicken, saw it shat something out, thought, okay, yeah, let me crack that into a bowl. Whisk that up, obviously. And then kill the chicken, cut off its tits, because we're talking chicken breasts here, and put it in the thing that came out his arsehole before making it really warm and then eating it. Sis, fall off, that's it. Oh, she's using the same tongs. I know you're going to say, oh, she's using the same tongs. How did you know I was going to say that, huh? How did you know that, Kay, huh? Are you outside my window, huh? What are you doing with that pack of mints? Get it away from your ass! And then when the pan warms up, kick the camera again, Kay. 
when the camera warms when the camera warms up okay yeah so she's going insane this happened the last time i watched it she kicked the camera and then had a go at herself this one felt a bit more aggressive than the last one actually kick the camera again kate what do you mean kick the camera again well no let's cap let's crack on with the fucking chicken nuggets shall we it's a fucking chicken goujon yeah but i'm gonna name it fucking chicken nugget they should turn that into a film, you know, call it, I don't know, call it Split or something, where so someone's got loads of people living inside their head. Put plenty of oil in, so... Hoyle? What is with this shit, man? Oh yeah, put the heg in the hoyle. What are you fucking stop that? What if I got my hum hole out and rubbed it all over your chicken breast? How about that, huh? How about that? That is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know where the thumbnail came from. Aren't you supposed to deep fry chicken nuggets? A poor little chicken nugget, all on its dad, in the pan. Uh, well, all on its own in the pan. And now it's going to come. <laughs> Didn't need to explain that. Poor little chicken nugget, all on its dad in the pan. Well, sorry, all on its own really, because I've just put it in by itself. So, and actually it's not funny really, is it? Because it's sad actually, you know. A poor little chicken nugget all on its tod. Oh, it's all on its tod. What the fuck is a tod? Yeah, it got, the camera is moving. I swear it's moving. It looks like it. She's starting to go a bit insane now. The camera just told me to fuck off. I swear it did. I swear it is. We'll see how it goes. As you can see, I have cut to them and turn them over for one over one minute straight the screen is stuck just on that chicken nugget and shit is happening in the background but <laughs> for some reason all we can see is just this picture of a chicken nugget so we're gonna skip to the end and see what it looks like thick like hers as you can see now <laughs> what went wrong we went in the dark for a couple minutes and we come back and oh fuck knows what happened here looks like she's taking a bite i hope you fucking haven't I hope she at least waited for it to be cooked. It seems like to me she couldn't resist and took a bite and decided to replace the footage with <laughs> the chicken nugget hole. So we had no idea what was going on. The taste test. Rats. What the hell? <laughs> oh no, it turned her into a son. How the fuck did that happen? We thought we were going to see you try it and then all of a sudden in comes your little son. So, taste test time. The battering is a bit soft, if you get what I mean. Not like normal. Butter. Not like crunchy chicken nuggets you get. But actually does taste alright. Well, you want to tell your face. You know, I have a feeling it's because she's just made uh, breaded chicken. Another meal. I mean, fuck knows what happened with this thumbnail. The title is so vague. Your guess is as good as mine. Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing a meal. <laughs> Just leave it there then. What the fuck are you up to, huh? You got your son in the skillet? Why are you being so secretive? Right, I have... I have already... grated the... potatoes. That's great, but I have no idea what you're doing. And put that out. You don't want... We don't want seeds and... I'm going to skip to when it's ready at 8 minutes and 10 seconds because I've just had a little preview. Uh, she cuts a pepper for two fucking minutes. So I'm not watching all that. Here's a new game I like to call Skip to the End and we're going to guess what the meal is. I bet that we will not have a fucking clue. Well, when the cooker warms up, it goes in for 15 minutes. And that is the end product. No. No. I'm actually going to cry. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh my god! What is that? <laughs> that looks like if you kept a fucking lasagna underground for a hundred years and pulled it out. I'm actually trying to guess what that is, and I think it's grated potato with peppers and cheese on top. That famous dish. What the fuck is that? Now it's the taste test. So we're not even going to find out. You can definitely taste the peppers. 
Yeah, you can definitely taste the peppers in it. Or maybe because you sprinkle the fucking things on top of whatever that is. I love how her, her idea of uh, describing what something tastes like is just naming an, an ingredient in there. <laughs> so it really gives you no idea because fuck knows what, what, <laughs> what the whole thing tastes like. All you can identify is a pepper and you made the dish. You know what's in there. Oh, this looks delicious. Battered chicken and crispy noodles. Let's see what this is all about. Hi Pippa, and I'm back cooking again. And oh, she's just given up with the intro now. Hi Pippa. <laughs> Hi Pippa, and I'm back cooking again. <laughs> Today I'm gonna boil an egg. And they are all the ingredients I will be using today. Right, that's not promising, is it? Those are all the ingredients. The recipe is battered chicken and crispy noodles. I don't see chicken and I really hope the f I really fucking hope she doesn't think her hand is a chicken breast. Because if she starts cutting that up, this whole video is getting demonetized. Is that Diet Coke? That's a Diet Coke, isn't it? Minus that one. Spaghetti. Shouldn't that be tagaletti? Yeah, no, you're gonna say it should have been ta tagaletti or whatever it's called. Okay, how did you know? No, how did you fucking? How did you know I said it shouldn't be, should it be tagaletti? How could you know? Get out my garden. That's your hand, not a chicken breast. Put it down. She's the devil. Or whatever it's called. Non no. Well, it's definitely not called Tagaletti. No shop. I've been to two. Well, I've been to Morrison's and Asda, and they didn't have any left. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have any left because you were looking for Tagaletti. If you go somewhere looking for Tagaletti, you're gonna, you're always gonna come away empty-handed. Well, the water was boiling. I put the spaghetti sticks in, and now it's gone off boil. So. <laughs> Don't worry. You've just cooled down the water a little bit. Is this the first time you've cooked? I suppose she's used to cooking tagaletti, so she's, just, she's never experienced this before. <laughs> never happened, that's never happened before, but yes. Um, <laughs> well, we'll just, we'll just leave it and see if it seems to boil again. Okay, we're gonna skip, uh, because she starts making batter for about five minutes, so we're gonna skip that. And... What the butthole? You're frying spaghetti, huh? I've not seen chicken once in this whole video. So I really have no idea what is gonna happen here. A tin okay. of cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna put that in. I should have waited till that other st spaghetti stick had Ew! What is that? You don't just start making a dish and think, why don't I chuck in a whole tin of mushroom soup? Why wouldn't I do that? Get ready for in-depth analysis. They are sounded crispy. And now the chicken. Some butter chicken and chicken. Where did the chicken come from? Fucking hell. Did you get a bone? You know you can cut this bit out. And believe it or not, I don't know how long the chicken had in, but it's done <laughs> perfect. I could hear that. Okay, so that was her review. Perfect. So if you didn't know who Kay's cooking was before, you definitely know who she is now, and you know what she's capable of. You happy now? You got what you wanted. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any videos you want me to react to or if you want me to go back to the kissing shit. Hey? And like, comment, subscribe. Bye.